if you have flash custom rom on robin of next bit and now you want to go back to stock firmware android nougat 7.1 and in case if you having any trouble then you can take a help from my this video i am going to flash stock firmware of nougat on robin of next bit good day everyone it's orange zeep and welcome to my channel tech info mania I will try to make technical and ROM flashing videos in easy way so you guys may have whatever you are looking for. And in the reply, my channel deserve to be subscribed. So please subscribe my channel and do like and share my videos which will give me more energy to make more videos like that for you all. Let's begin now. You need to have laptop with 50% battery charge or a desktop PC to flash firmware on Robin. You must make a backup of your data which are in your Robin mobile as flashing stock firmware will wipe everything. Robin must be charged about 80%. Bootloader of Robin must be unlocked. I assume you were using custom ROM so you must be having a locked bootloader and in case if you relocked it then you need to unlock it again to flash stock firmware back on it. Now we need to download three files and all the links of those files are down there in my video description. Download the file by clicking the links given down there. First file is the Robin USB driver. Download this file and make a separate folder to save all these files. Second file is the Universal ADB driver. Download this file too and save it to same folder. And third file is the stock firmware file for Robin next bit and that is Nougat 7.1.1. Link will be down there in my description. Download the firmware file by clicking the link and save it to the same folder where all the rest file are saved. Now starting the procedure by installing Robin USB driver. Unzip the driver file. Open the folder and double click the setup file to start installing Robin USB driver on Windows. Now we need to install Universal ADB driver. Double click it and start installing this driver on Windows. After installing both the drivers file, now we need to unzip the stock firmware file. Open the folder of firmware and open one more folder which is inside the firmware folder and you will see a bunch of files inside which are the stock firmware file and will be flashing it on Robin. Now moving to Robin mobile, make sure that your Robin must be totally switched off. We need to boot Robin in fast boot mode to flash stock firmware. Booting in fast boot mode is easy. Just press and hold the volume down key and power on the mobile. And soon you will see the fast boot mode screen and release both keys then. Now connect the cable with Robin mobile and make sure that use a good quality of cable for flashing always. Obviously, the other side of cable must be connected with laptop or desktop PC. For the first time, when we connect Robin with laptop or PC, Windows will start installing the USB driver.
and after when Windows finish installing USB driver, now it's time to flash stock firmware. Now go back to that stock firmware folder and double click the file name flash all and it will ask you do you wish to wipe the device when flashing just type y and press enter key and then you will see the flashing of stock firmware will start it robin mobile will reboot three to four times during flashing so do not panic this is the flashing process and all that firmware files will be sending to robin you will see in command window When you see a message in command window that press any key to exit and reboot the system then press any key and disconnect the robin from data cable and wait for few seconds to let robin reboot automatically by itself. Robin will reboot and will start booting the stock firmware for the first time after flashing and first boot will take a few minutes now and just to wait for it. Complete the setup screen after when first boot finish. Our Robin of Nextbit is finally back on stock from here. That version is Nogget 7.1.1 as you can see that. So Robin is back on stock and only the thing is left is to relock the bootloader of Robin. If you wish to relock it then go ahead or you can just leave it unlocked like further you wish to flash custom ROM. I will relock my Robin bootloader to make my Robin mobile just like it came out from the box. Switch off the Robin and will boot it into fast boot mode once again for relocking the bootloader. Booting into fast boot mode is the same like the way I did it before for flashing for stock firmware on it. Now press and hold the volume down key, switch on the mobile. You will see the fast boot mode screen soon and release all the keys. Now connect the data cable once again with Robin and make sure that other side of cable is connected with the laptop or desktop PC. Now go to your stock firmware folder and in blank area of that folder press and hold your keyboard shift key, right click the mouse key, release the shift key and go to open command window here. Press left mouse key and command window will now open. For relocking the bootloader, type the command fast boot space minus i space 0 multiply 2c3f space oem space lock and press the enter key of your keyboard and you gonna see robin will relock its bootloader and will reboot and start erasing the data at once now mobile will start booting back into stock firmware again for the first time after erasing or in other words wiping all the data and will take time to finish the first boot again and then you can complete the setup screen as usually we do and enjoy using stock Android Nougat 7.1.1 on Robin of next bit. This was the procedure of flashing back the stock firmware on Robin of next bit and also relocking its bootloader. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Take a good care. Goodbye.